Hello everyone. Again, this is Jian Peng, uh, your PH106 instructor. In today's lab, I'm going to show you how to run the simulation of Energy Skate Park. Uh, after you open the instructions, this is what you see. Uh, <clears throat> basically, first beginning it talks about the basic concepts of work, gravitational potential energy, and the kinetic energy. And most important at the very end, it talks about the conservation of energy, which is the focus of this simulation. Uh, in the procedure part, the first part tells you how to run the simulation, uh, try all the different uh, options listed here. I'm going to show you how to do it. Again, uh, press the control key of your keyboard, click on the link, and it should bring you the simulation then click run now and should run the simulation okay now we have the simulation running and just as mentioned in the uh, uh, <coughs> instructions you have different ways to adjust things I'm going to show you a few so first is you have all these blue dots and you can use that to change your track. Say you can make your track this side is longer, that side is a little bit less steep. And same story. You can do whatever you want with all these blue dots. You can reset if you don't like. Are you sure? Yes. So it becomes back to the original shape. There's a measuring tape. If you want, again, the way to use it, just like you use a measuring tape, say you put it right there. If you want to measure the height of the track and things in that nature, uh, I'm not going to use it. And you can also define the potential energy reference. The default is the ground. So this is dotted line. And you can change the reference line. So to change the uh, potential energy. But usually just let it use the default, it's fine. And you can show the grid. Uh, also, um, you can change the location. Now we are on Earth, the simulation. So on Earth, we have learned the gravitational acceleration constant is 9.8 meters per second squared. So if you change to Moon, and the difference is, oh, our skate is gone. The, on the moon, the, the uh, acceleration constant uh, the, uh, due to gravitational, or just called gravitational ac acceleration constant, is only one-sixth of that on Earth. So it's only uh, less than two meters per second squared. And you can change to Jupiter, which has more, even more. So if I return skater, you can see it runs faster than on Earth. And on space, sure, then there's not going to be any uh, friction. Uh, I'm sorry, any acceleration, any gravitation at all. So again, our skater is gone. So you can actually change this uh, just by changing the number here. But again, let's just use on Earth as our default. Uh, reset. Yes. And you can also change the track friction, friction, which is right here. And then you can change the coefficient of friction. Uh, right now we assume it's uh, ideal and there's no friction. And if you can change the friction, and you can see, uh, if I change the number a little bit bigger, See, eventually the skater stops in the middle, just like the real world. Um, and you can also edit the skater, you can change its mass right here, or just use the default. Okay, uh, so let's get started on the lab itself. So the way to run the lab is pretty straightforward. Uh, just follow the instructions. Uh, <clears throat> run the 
simulation as the lab instruction goes and also pay attention to the graphs showing the kinetic energy and the uh, potential energy so let's reset yes and let's show the bar graph and that shows here we have kinetic energy and potential energy the total energy again right now it's the ideal case so there's no thermal energy there's no uh, energy loss so the kinetic energy potential energy and then your total energy uh, and I think that's enough instructions and you should be able to run this simulation pretty straightforward okay that's all for today uh, good luck thanks